Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Adam is a young American man. He's 35 years old and he's working as a teacher. He used to teach English in a local school. Adam was really thankful for the job, however, that it isn't considered as a dream job in general. But Adam had a unique experience. Like any other young man, Adam wanted to party and have a good time. But he never had enough money to do that. He wished that he could go with his friends to those parties or hang around with them. But with this financial state, he could do that once a month as maximum. And sometimes he only can go out once every two months. But Adam never gave up. He always thought that one day he'd find a job that would allow him to do all this fun stuff that he'd love to do. Adam tried to look for a better job or an extra part-time job, but he never found any. Adam didn't like his job as a teacher. He wanted to have a cool job where he can work and have fun at the same time. He was thinking about starting his own business. He told himself, if I'm going to start my own business, it should be a cool business like a nightclub, coffee shop, or a beach bar. But soon, he realized that in order to start his own business, he needs the money. Adam was very sad about the situation that he found himself into. He couldn't go out with his friends because he always wanted to go to cheap places, while everyone else wanted to go to fancy nice places. Soon, Adam decided that he'll stay home at home in the weekends. He didn't want to embarrass himself in front of his friends anymore. One day, one of Adam's friends named David called him to inform him that there's a job opportunity in the summer. Adam said, perfect, I can use an extra job. Thank you so much, David. David said, you didn't ask where the job is. Adam said, I don't care, I just need the money. David said, well, I've been talking with one of my friends about you and he told me that his cousin owns some beach bars in Los Angeles and he needs people to work there in the summer. Adam said, a bartender in the beach bar? That's my dream job. I really can't thank you enough. David said, you're most welcome, Adam. I've set up a meeting for you with the guy, his name's Carl, and he's in the city just for a couple of days. So you need to meet with him before he travels or you'll need to travel to LA to meet with him. I'll send his number in SMS. Adam said, okay, I'll call him right now, don't worry. After Adam hung up with his friend, he called Carl immediately and they agreed to meet. Carl told Adam that he'll be a bartender and he'll get well paid, but he'll have an extra task, beside being the bartender, he would also be dealing in drugs. Adam said, but David didn't tell me anything about this drug dealing. Carl said, because David doesn't know about it, and he shouldn't know about it. In this field of work, you should keep a lot of things to yourself. Adam said, but this is illegal. Carl said, thank you for the information. Look, David told me that you need the money, so do you need the job or not? I don't have time for this. Adam said, yes, I need the money, but I don't want to go to jail. Carl said, if you want to gain easy money, you must take the risk. Look, David told me everything. If you can't enjoy your life in now, when will you do that? Don't you think this cool staff that you want to deserve and take the risk? Adam said, I couldn't agree more. I just want to be happy and it seems like I can't be without the money. Carl said, does that mean you accept the job? Adam said, yeah, sure. Adam went to Los Angeles to start the new job. He was so happy hanging around in California's beautiful beaches and also getting paid for that. He was literally getting paid for having fun. He spent every night in a different nightclub with a different girl. He wished that his friends back in New York could see him now, but after the first month, he started to be bored from his lifestyle. Adam was thinking that having fun and partying should be a part of his life, not all of his life. He took a day off from the work to think about his future. He was walking on the L.A. streets, not knowing where he was going, when he found this homeless young man who asked him for help by giving him money or food. Adam gave the homeless man $50, which was a big amount for him. The homeless man was shocked and said to Adam, Are you sure this is a lot of money? Adam said, Yeah, don't worry about me. I have a nice life. I make a lot of me. The homeless man said, A lot of people make money. Some people make millions, but they don't give it away, especially if there's no one looking. Adam said, well, maybe I'm a special case. The homeless man said, can I do something for you to thank you? 
Adam said, I just want to talk. I'm originally from New York, and I don't know anyone here. The homeless man said, that's weird. When I had money like you, I had a lot of friends. Adam said, you used to have money? How'd you end up like this? The homeless man said, I used to be an engineer. I got a well-paid every month, so I was having a lot of fun with my friends until one day a friend of mine told me that I need to try this new drug called methamphetamine. My life was never the same after I tried this drug. I lost my job, my friends, my wife, and my home. Since that time, I've been living in the streets, as you can see. Adam was shocked by what he just heard. Methamphetamine, that's the drug he's dealing to people in the beach. He was asking himself, is he doing that to people's lives? The homeless man said, are you okay? You went silent after I told you my story. Adam said, I'm okay. Don't worry. Here's another $50. But you must promise me that you will not buy drugs with this money. The homeless man said, yeah, sure. But this will be too much. Adam said, don't worry. It's okay. Adam said that the homeless had left him on the street. He went back to meet with Carl in order to tell him that he'll not be able to continue working with him because the school called him and they told him he's needed back for summer courses. Carl said, are you sure you want to leave this job and go back to teach kids English? Adam said, yeah, that's my job. I can't lose it. Besides, I kind of miss teaching. Carl said, okay, as you want. Adam went back to New York with a lot of money that he gained from his drug dealing. He didn't know what he could do with all this money. At first, he thought about spending the money on parties, but soon he said to himself, no, I won't be having this money while I know that this money has destroyed people's lives. Finally, Adam decided that he'll use the money helping homeless people. He was walking every evening in New York streets, giving the money to the homeless in the street. Until one day, he met with a girl who's helping homeless as well by giving them food. The girl approached Adam and said, I know you. I've been seeing you coming here every evening giving people money, and I want to thank you for that. Adam said, you don't need to thank me. My name's Adam, by the way. The girl said, nice to meet you, Adam. My name's Sarah. I just need to ask you something. Why don't you buy them things with this money, like food or clothes? Adam said, I just thought I can give them the money so they can buy whatever they want. Sarah said, the thing is that some of them might take the money and buy drugs with it. Adam said, now I understand your point. It seems that I don't have the experience and that you have and that I failed. I have the money and you have the plan. We can work together. Sarah said, that seems perfect for me. Adam and Sarah walked to his apartment together. On their way, they were talking to each other, telling each other one of their duties in life. Adam knew that Sarah's working in multinational company and she's volunteering her free time to help the homeless. Sarah and Adam were making meals in his house and then they went to the New York City streets to give those meals to the homeless. Adam also loved to talk with the homeless. He wanted to hear their stories in order to know how they end up in the street. Adam finished his money on the project with Sarah, so he needed an extra part-time job in order to continue helping the homeless. So he took a part-time job as a waiter in a local restaurant. One day, Adam met this young homeless girl. She looked like 15 years old. When he was giving her the meal, Adam asked the girl, You look young. How'd you end up here? But the girl didn't reply. She took the food and started to eat in silence. Adam called a homeless guy that he already knew named Harry to ask him about her. Adam said, Harry, what's the story of this girl? She looks so young for that. Harry said, we don't know. She lost her money. She doesn't remember anything now. Adam said, that's so sad. Can you please take care of her for me? I'm thinking about calling child services, but I need to talk to Sarah about it first. Harry said, yeah, sure. Adam went back home and called Sarah to tell her about this weird girl he saw. Sarah told him that calling child services is a good idea. Adam said, okay, I'll wait for you so we can call them together. Sarah said, okay, I'll be there within a couple hours. Adam was sitting at home, waiting for Sarah, so he decided to watch TV until she arrived. While he was watching TV, he saw a TV about a missing girl. He looked closer to find out that this girl is the same homeless girl that he saw. He took a pen and paper and wrote her family's number, and when Sarah arrived, he told her about what he saw on the TV. Adam and Sarah communicated with the family, and they took the little girl to her home. When they arrived at the little girl's home, they found out how rich her family was. 
The family was very thankful for Adam and Sarah after they returned their daughter, and also they felt good about what they were doing, helping the homeless in general. The family offered them to finance the small project of helping the homeless. Adam and Sarah are married now. They still help the homeless people by giving them food and clothes. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.